Alright guys, so the plan today was to drive a bit, drive a bit, but of course it got snowy outside and as you can see I'm moving garage in uh, two months I think. So this is the look at now. I'm, uh, yeah, they are moving out up here. Uh, I'm moving to a smaller garage by myself in the middle of the city instead of outside of the city. And today I'm gonna go and fix, hopefully, fix this problem. I'm gonna show you guys what could be the cause of it. fixed the vacuum but I forgot one uh, kind of important line. So I'm gonna show you guys what that was and uh, as well I'm gonna show you where the fuel pressure reg regulator that I took from that bike uh, and put it on this one. Where that goes, it's two bolts, one hose one and one vacuum. Really easy to change if that's the problem. Uh, this is a neat little trick: the bungee cord holding the tank up. <coughs> yeah, so this is the fuel pressure regulator. This was from my 954. It's exactly the same, different numbers on it. But the only thing that's different is that this connection for the fuel return line is uh, a bit bent on the originally so that's the only difference and if you want to check if your pressure regulator is broken you can remove this vacuum hose and if it drips fuel then it's broken <laughs> mine was spitting out it was spitting right out fuel so it was completely trash but yeah that's a good tip to try that out the problem on this one was it filled the cylinder two and three with the fuel so it was a lot of fuel in the oil when i bought the spike but yeah but uh, change that if you have a problem with it and uh, the vacuum here, I have plugged two vacuums that are going up in the airbox. I don't know if you can see these two, I plugged those. Then I have this one that was plugged when I bought it. They didn't know where it was gonna go, but... <laughs> <coughs> this map sensor has a little hose intake under it that need to have vacuum so I'm gonna plug that in and show you guys the difference uh, the difference on the RPM when it's lowering when it's yeah like it should be as you can see that uh, under here yeah you see that a uh, little vacuum hose going into this one the map sensor that was the one that I have forgotten and now it's working properly so I'm gonna show you the difference I'm just gonna put the tank down so the difference is this is high 
default uh, higher this either on it but uh, the RPM is lowering much faster now so it's tip top shape now all that was the problem was a vacuum hose disconnected and a bad, bad fuel pump regulator and I have as well put my other brake setup that I had on the other bike on it as well I have some I have had some problem with it after like five minutes the disc was almost blowing you can see it has yeah heat marks on it blue This brake wasn't relieving pressure after after I brake broke it. I <laughs> brake used the brake, so uh, I could lock the rear tire with just yeah with this that little. But uh, hopefully I have fixed that as well. Uh, I re-blood it. So now it should be tip top shape. Kind of. My plans for the summer, next summer, is going either white fairings on all the red now, going white instead, as well as that race fairing on the bottom, having that white, or going with military matte green on the fairings. I'm gonna try and find a top fairing. Looks almost like this, a little different. But it should need to fit that. So that's the plans for before I take it out next summer. I'm gonna continue try and ride this winter as well. But hopefully I can ride maybe an hour or so this week because it's gonna be plus degrees outside so hopefully the snow disappears yep that's the video I'm sorry guys for not having a, a ride motovlog for some time now but uh, I'm glad you're sticking around so it's gonna be more real vlogs uh, in the future bye